we all feel a lot of shame about things that we don't know and we shouldn't because like everything that's good in life is on the other side of like you feeling ashamed about like this 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 small little thing that you're like starting to build Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, cool. I sent that. So I'm I'm good. It seems like you just sent a really important email <laughs> this, uh, live what's in my Raycast recording. So I'm um, very excited to be part of this. Right now, it's like such an interesting time in life um, because uh, team just got laid off and uh, I'm kind of applying for this job. And uh, yeah, just just I, I wrote this pitch out, just sent it off. So live in this recording. So oh, super, I'm excited. Super well, you got to keep yeah, yeah, yeah. up to date on what happens. I'll let you know. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we could add it to the show notes like, hey, it actually yeah, worked or it didn't. Absolutely. <laughs> it turns out that you've only been using Raycast for like two weeks, right? Like actually using it. You are like our beginner guest. Yeah, guest. I love that like beginner moment for like anything. There's so many moments in life where like that first little initial moment just kind of keeps you going for the rest of it, right? Like it's the most joy you will ever experience with that thing. First of all, when did you start using Raycast? Like when did you install it? And what are you using it for? So I did actually install it years ago. Not years ago. I mean, like, let, let's let's say a year. Installed okay. it a year ago. Honestly, just used it as a like, what's next on my calendar launcher, um, which is like just the most basic thing that you could use it for. But like it immediately found a way into my workflow, even though I was using, you know, Alfred because it was just so good. So I would just like command or sorry, option space, which is kind of like the default before you switch out spotlight yeah, basically yeah, yeah. just became my like, I know I have a meeting coming up like open it in Zoom. So you installed it a year ago, and for the last year, you've been using Raycast and Alfred at the same time. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. for sure. <laughs> Definitely, for different things. And you know what's funny, like, you installed Raycast and you use just one feature of it, right, which was mm -hmm. my schedule. My schedule is a built-in yep. command, connects to your Apple calendar, and it shows you the upcoming events. I use that all the time. I love that command. And I find it quite fascinating that you installed Raycast and that's the only thing you use because <laughs> most likely uh, people would install Raycast and just use the calculator or just use it to launch. For sure. Right. There are some game changing things that won't take more than like literally a second to set up and you never have to think about them anymore. And so I, and those are the things that I'm most excited about. All right, so I can see your screen now, man. Why don't you guide us through some of the things that you've discovered? in the last couple of weeks when you started using Raycast a bit more daily, let's say. Anytime I like record video or stream or something like that, um, I like to change to like a smaller screen resolution. And I assume that this is probably the, the same here. So one of the cool things about Raycast, no other things required, is that you can just type, was it change? Oh shoot, now I'm screwing it up. I think it's, I usually go by display. Um, but I think it's, yeah, change display mode. It's going to give you a list of the displays. I have, you know, display one, which I believe is my MacBook, and display two, which is the external. Uh, tap into that, and I can go into any of these resolutions that um, would be most beneficial for my environment. I think I'm already on, like, 1920, but we could go even go even bigger, depending on how people are going to watch this. So let's go, All like, right, 720. Look. Oh, look at that. Love it. Nice. Did it come across? Is it working? Did we yeah, screw no, up StreamYard? Now no, we're good. <laughs> great, man. Op open up Raycast again. <laughs> okay, cool. That's it. And now you can actually type in. Oh, there you go. I love these little guides where yeah. you snaps to, snaps to the right place, right? I've okay. never even seen this before. This is what a delight. <laughs> yeah, this is great, right? And if you don't want to use the guides, there's actually a command called reset position. And if you type that in from the root search, then it just puts Raycast in the right place. Okay, reset position. Okay. Yeah, there yeah, we go. That, okay, that cool. There, you go. there we go. Now you're back. Sweet. We're back to normal. Let's make an event. Like, so let's say that I'm going to do something in a handful of minutes. It's going to like show up on my calendar. So I actually uh, used an extension for this, and I put it under CN for calendar new. Um, it's just called create quick event, and I can just say like, you know, in five minutes, uh, more coffee. That is going to kind of like parse the natural language that I have. It's going to give me a preview of what the, the event is actually going to look like. And I'll just hit enter. Um, and so that adds it to my calendar. I actually never use this uh, add quick event. I might steal that from you. 
Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I hope you do. It's great because I'm going to hit open up Raycast and then I have this calendar event right there. Uh, it's at the top of my thing. All I have to do is hit enter. Um, and this works amazing for Zoom calls. Did you know that um, you can also add these events to the menu bar? Uh, show me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see it. All right, I'll show Look you. Up so here. If you open up Raycast and type in my schedule and then press command K and then go configure yeah. command. Now on the right side, if you scroll down on the right panel, the last option there is show events yeah. in the menu bar, right? So oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. You can go like five minutes before. If you turn that on, then boom, oh. it's right there in your menu bar. So that's how you were using Raycast initially, that we're talking one year ago. Yes. But what yeah. has changed in the last couple of weeks? Now, I'm guilty very much so of just kind of like typing in a domain for something and then auto completing it. But there's a problem there, right? Because like if you start going to a different domain that starts to match for that domain, now you have to actually like toggle through and be like, oh no, it was like Netlify that I wanted instead of, you know, whatever. Quick links make it super easy to just kind of like blend the lines between you know, like the web apps that you use and the native apps that you use. One of the ones that I use all the time is, um, so my site is chan.dev. I, uh, five times a day, would go into like open up a ter launch a terminal, navigate to the path of my application, and then do like open, like or uh, code, dot, code dot, which is yeah. like <laughs> yeah, which is like objectively five too many steps. So one of the first things that I did was like okay, I'm gonna make a quick link to open up VS Code for my personal site, and so yeah, that's that's there. We can um, you can see it open. It's gonna open VS Code, whatever Maybe. I had there before. It's like I such have a the simple exact thing, same right? Link. I have the same oh, yeah. one that opens my website in VS Code. I swear to God. Chan.dev just opens like the the repo level, um, but I could jump right into the like content part of it, which um, like so if I'm not working on the site, just you know writing a post, I can do that. Oh, yeah. um, and then. Oh kind of a, a app link where this goes to the deploy page of Netlify, which yeah. is so much better than like going to Netlify.com, clicking the yeah, login button. Definitely. And then, but you, you know, know what? Of... You know what's even better? <laughs> yeah, tell me, better tell me. Is to use the Netlify extension, which oh. shows all your deployments and everything directly <laughs> in Raycast. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh man, installing right now. I love how we're learning in real time. Like this is this is this is the best. I love this. So a year ago, you downloaded Raycast, and for the next year, you used my schedule alongside Alfred. And since two weeks ago, you've been using Raycast more and more. So the question I have is, do you still use Alfred? <laughs> no, I don't actually. I this stuff is always like really hard to talk about because I, I don't ever want to come across as like shitting on someone else's work because Alfred is really great. The user interface never perfectly matched my mental model for the world. So I, I found it difficult to navigate. The way Raycast is organized, we didn't talk about like extensions, but being able to use JavaScript to write my own extensions for like random things has been awesome because more things are online for me now um, as yeah. problems that I can solve through Raycast. I think that's the thing that continues to get me excited about like, oh, well, what else can I put in here that I do manually like <laughs> several times a day? It always felt like a lot of friction to kind of map my intent through Alfred. Um, and it works for a lot of people, just it wasn't for me. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. I was just asking because, believe it or not, there's quite a few people that sometimes use both because they may prefer some things uh, in Alfred and some other things they may prefer in, in Raycast. I was a long time Alfred user. I still really like the product. It's obviously yeah. something that changed Mac OS for over a decade. Completely. So there's absolutely nothing bad to be said about it. Have you built an extension yet? I have built an extension, yes. I have one extension. I make Egghead video courses, and one of the things that you can do is when you share a link, you can app append this like affiliate code, and if someone ends up buying um, a license to Egghead, uh, you get a percentage of that. And so I have a little command that will automate that for me. So uh, let's just, I guess we can edit this. Um, yeah, opening code, yeah. let's have a look. 
<laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. So um, the cool thing about this is that Raycast, I felt, did a really good job of like uh, initializing a project for me with everything that it needed to to be in it. Um, so I honestly have not touched anything in here except for the index.ts. Um, so I can't speak to any of them. Most extensions, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So let's go into this. Uh, I actually borrowed heavily from you know you have a what is it it's like um silent at is that what it's oh, called oh yeah i've got the uh, mention <laughs> silence what's it called silent mention that one yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so silent mention is is great because you actually manipulate the text to insert an invisible character um in at mention so it doesn't like actually like tag that person uh, on x i love that like it's so clever and so i just basically copy and pasted your script and tried to modify it in such a way that i did kind of a similar thing, um, but like exactly for yeah, my you can needs. See, so you get the selected text, and then once you have it, you call this append affiliate link to it, right? Yeah, so I'm just doing, um, I'm just adding a search param. One nice thing about doing this, I mean, this is you know, using the kind of like URL standard APIs, yeah. is, is that if there are other params on there, I'm not like obliterating it, I'm just adding to it. Oh, yeah. And if there's another affiliate link already on there. I'm just kind of replacing it or just add it. like this is a really great way to handle this type of thing because it really retains the URL um, as it was, but just kind of adding that one little thing. And then, yeah, I just uh, yeah. So I just basically copy it to the clipboard um, and then replace it um, where it was. So let's just go to like Google. Oh, that's Gmail. Nope. <laughs> Google.com. <laughs> Man, I cannot. I'm like S Brazil. We're in the we're in the Brazil Google today. Okay, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> so we're Google.com. If I try to grab that URL and then run my Raycast extension on it, um, which is what is it? Akhead affiliate link. Um, it's gonna say URL not supported. Totally fine. So if I go to Akhead now and uh, let's open up this course um, and run the same command, Akhead IO affiliate. Um, you can see that it replaced it in the URL bar. So now it has my affiliate link. And um, if I open up text edit again, um, it's in my clipboard. Really nice interface. Um, being able to like kind of show those errors with, I mean, I literally just threw an error. It's just JavaScript. And yeah, the fact that that's exactly. integrated in there. Awesome. Awesome. All right, man. Well, that was great. I really enjoyed seeing how you use Raycast and how much you've been using it in the last couple of weeks. You definitely uh, don't really come across like a beginner. You seem to be <laughs> using it quite well and quite in you know, an advanced way. But what I love is that you've made it work for you. You customized it. You've built your own extension already. You're just making the most out of it to make your kind of workflow more optimized. And I love to see that. The primitives are designed in such a such a way that they almost invite you to take advantage of them and customize them and make them their make them your own. Um, it's just such well-designed software and I love anything that kind of invites you. It's just like constantly saying like, hey, like come a little bit deeper, like come a little bit deeper. Like there, there's even more, you know, like even on this call, it's like, oh yeah, you can do that and even faster. Like, and so I love that. So kudos to you all for doing that really glad that we we did this it's been an absolute pleasure thanks for having me on